As you can see, we found ourselves deep in the field of nuclear physics. Of course, we don't pretend to be science. We're storytellers. So we combine the tools of our trade with the knowledge of experts. We added a nationally known scientist to our staff to head our new science department. His first assignment was yeah, to write the book on the atom and to help yeah, us with the program. And here to tell you the story of our friend the atom is the author of our book. Yeah, Dr. Yeah, Dr. Yeah, Dr. Yeah, Dr. Yeah. And we developed yeah. a story of the atom. We made an amazing discovery. Yeah, did it, did it, did it. We had a science story. But suddenly they realized that it was almost like a bomb. By a strange coincidence, our story turned out to be like the old fable from the Arabian Nights, the fisherman and the genie. This tale tells of an age-old wish of man, a wish to be the master of a mighty genie that does his bidding. There was once an old fisherman who lived in great poverty. One day, after casting his net many times, he happened to pull ashore a brazen vessel. You and me, na, 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 na. Its mouth was closed with a lens. Oh, it's a casa. Oh. Come to Jesus. 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 Come to Uh, 
noble destroyer to die. Now, if I could reduce this class into its smallest part, these would be atoms. This piece appears to be a solid part, but on closer inspection, we see that it is made of billions of grains of sand. If we think of grains of sand as atoms and pack them together, they can be molded into any desired form. So it is in this way nature uses these tiny particles, these atoms, to build all things, the earth, water, air, and fire. If air and fire consist of small particles, how can they rise? They would fall to the earth like a shower of pebbles. The man who disagreed with Democritus was Aristotle, a famous Greek philosopher. His philosophy shaped the thinking of man for the next 2,000 years, and so the idea of the atom was lost. In the 17th century, man went beyond his thinking. He began to act. His philosophy became seeing his belief. Thank you. 